Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing a set of these Rivco Aero pegs. These are flip-out highway pegs for the 2018 Honda Goldwing. Now, when they're not in use, they're tucked away out of sight. When you're on a ride, you hook them with the top of your boot, flip them out, and you've got the maximum in safety and comfort. These pegs are specially designed to break away and shear off in the event of a tip-over so they don't damage your engine. Rivco provides you with everything you need for successful installation. It's a good idea to separate all of the hardware and become familiar with each piece. Starting on the left side of the motorcycle, use a small pick or screwdriver to remove these little decorative rubber plugs from the center of the valve cover bolts. It's a good idea to keep all of the parts you remove in a small parts bowl. Using a 5mm Allen wrench or socket, remove the two intake cover screws as shown. You may need to use a magnet to remove the screw from the well. Using a 6mm Allen wrench or socket, remove the three valve cover bolts as shown. In some cases, the valve cover sealing rings will remain in place when you remove these bolts. However, if the seals do come off with the bolt as shown, make sure you put them over the shank of the new hex cover bolts with the tan portion facing up. Now install the three new valve cover hex bolts as shown. And using a 16 millimeter socket, go ahead and Tighten these to where they're just finger tight. When it comes time to tighten the bolts, begin with the center bolt and work your way in sequence to the other bolts, one half turn at a time. And when the bolts become firm, you want to finally tighten all three bolts to two to three foot pounds. Insert two of the aluminum spacers in the intake cover recesses as shown. For this next step, we'll be using two of these longer screws provided with a flat washer installed onto the screw. Now put the silver mounting plate into position and insert those two longer screws into the intake cover as shown. You can use a 4mm Allen wrench to modestly tighten these, leave them a little bit loose for now. Next, we're going to install three of these shorter aluminum screws into the valve cover bolts. Place a lock washer on each screw and then a flat washer on top of that. And then install them into the valve cover bolts. It's important to note that these screws are made from aluminum and they're intentionally made to be very, very soft. So it's very easy to strip them out if you're not careful, so you don't want to over tighten these. These screws are made from soft aluminum so that in the event of a tip over with the pegs extended, uh, they'll simply pop off and not damage the valve cover bolts underneath. Here you can see you simply want to tighten it until the lock washer flattens out. When the lock washer is flat, you only want to tighten each of these screws 1 16th of a turn. Now you can tighten the two intake cover screws to 2 to 3 foot pounds of torque. Now we're ready to mount the adjuster plate marked with an L for the left side. You can see the four holes line up with the four holes on the bracket. These two holes will be used for the screws on the normal setting. If you want the pegs further back, you can slide the adjuster plate and use different mounting holes as shown. It's a good idea to go ahead and mount these in the center position using the two outer holes and screws as shown. You can use a 4mm Allen wrench to just get these screws finger tight at this time.
use two of these small hex head screws as shown uh, to install the left arrow peg to the plate underneath. You just want to get these finger tight. I'm using a 3 16 inch uh, Allen socket here. Now you're ready to repeat all of these steps up to this point on the right side of the motorcycle. With both pegs loosely installed, you want to extend both pegs and sit on the bike and see how they fit you. When you finally install everything, you can move those adjuster plates accordingly. Now remove both arrow pegs and tighten down the adjuster plate in the position that you want it. Then reinstall the pegs and tighten those down as well. This is my first chance to try out the new Ribco arrow pegs. I'm not sure if you can see. I'm going to try to get the camera where you can kind of see I'm stretched out. And I got to tell you, they're pretty damn comfortable.